But the main question they ask is if you want a boy or a girl. That's like question number one. And I'm always like, look, as long as the kid's white, I don't really care. And I know that sounds crook, but you gotta remember, I'm white, my wife does Pilates. Pretty sure that's how it works, you know? Like, I'm not a PE teacher, but I'm pretty sure. Like, the problem with that is we're also both Australian, which means we're making more white Australians. And I don't know about you guys, I've never thought we needed more of those. <laughs> At no point in my life have I looked around and been like, fuck, if only there were two more white Australians here. <laughs> I've never been on a pub crawl in Europe and thought, if only. <laughs> Prague needs more white Australians. I've, I've never been on a Jetstar flight to Bali and thought, if only. There's just not enough people saying cunt at 9am, you know, I just feel, I feel unsafe, you know, it's, it's no good. <laughs> Look, I don't want to be too negative about Australia, I think, like, there's a lot of good things about Australia, but like, we're weird, we're a weird country in the sense that we like that it's hard to come here, we enjoy that about Australia, like, look at the national pride we took in bouncing Novak Djokovic, we fucking love that. <laughs> He turns up and he's like, I'm the number one tennis player in the world. And we're like, <laughs> fuck off, cunt. <laughs> yeah, it turns out we've got a court you can't win in. Off you go. <laughs> I hope you're better on clay than the court of appeal. Fuck off. <laughs> and he was white, which was a nice change. Yeah. <laughs> the old victimless crime. Um, no, like, it's just, it's a weird part. Like, it's a weird part of Australian culture. Like, we like, we like that it's hard to come here. Like, we enjoy that about ourselves. Like, is anyone here from overseas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you from, brother? England. England. Wow, let's get a real one. Um, <laughs> where are you from, brother? Syria. Syria. Fuck. There you go. Um, <laughs> Syria. What's your name, brother? Sam. Nice to meet you, Sam. I'm Daniel. I'm the guy. Um, Sam, was it, was it easy for you to come to Australia? Uh, not really. That's fantastic. Um, <laughs> Look at everyone in the back being like, great. Uh, <laughs> everything's going great. No, it's a real part of our culture. Like, it's a real thing. We like that it's hard to come here. We love it when people choose to come here from overseas. Like, Sam said he's from Syria, and everyone's like, fuck yeah, dude, doing all right. But we want you to want it somehow. <laughs> like, you made someone from overseas, like, holy shit, you're from Brazil, that's fantastic. Was it difficult for you to immigrate to Australia? And they're like, yeah, a lot of paperwork, a lot of interviews, I'm very lucky to be here. And as Australians, secretly, in our heads, we're like, good. <laughs> you better fucking want it, mate. <laughs> oh, you want to stay? Then pick some strawberries, get it done. <laughs> I hope that the strawberries with the needles in them. <laughs> you better want it, right? You better want to be here. We're oddly proud of our racism in this country. Other countries are embarrassed. We're like, nah, can't. We're good at it. <laughs> when we do it, it's entertaining. That's why we put it on TV. That's all Border Patrol is. That's just Australian racism filmed and shown to other countries as a warning. That's why every episode starts with some guy trying to bring fruit through customs. And the officer's like, nah, mate, you can't bring it now. You've got to pick it later if you want to stay. <laughs> to bring it now would be cheating. Which is un-Australian. <laughs> it was funny, man, because like, I lived in the UK for a couple of years. And you guys were always asking me. They were like... Was it easy for you to come to the UK? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> like super easy, you know, like so easy. Like all you need as an Australian to immigrate to the UK is a photo, like <laughs> not even of you, they don't mind, you know, they don't check, you just through the gate. And they're like, well, how is that fair? Like, why is it easy for you guys to come to the UK, but it's hard for us to go to Australia? And I'm like, well, if you think about it, my white skin is kind of a receipt. <laughs> This is clearly the original store I was purchased from. <laughs> so if I want a refund, that's my right, your majesty. <laughs> that was the thing, I lived there for two years, never had asthma or any of the allergies I have in Australia. And it was only when I left, I was like, oh, that's because I was supposed to live here. <laughs> Hay fever isn't an allergy to pollen, it's karma for white people being where they shouldn't. That's what that is. <laughs> And it might sound silly, but you never had an Aboriginal mate ask you for a Zyrtec, have you? It's never happened. 